Clock is ticking down on the decision for what to do with the aging Aloha Stadium. Tonight, the state made a last call for anyone to voice an opinion on the matter. KITV4's Brenton Awa was at tonight's meeting and has more. From the Pro Bowl. And it is hauled in in the end zone by Jordan Cameron for a touchdown. To Friday Night Lights. <laughs> Sell out concerts. to the home of UH football. Aloha Stadium has been the host of some of the state's largest events since 1975. But like a pro player past his prime, this stadium showing its age. And the cost to keep it in the game for the next five to seven years is a whopping $120 million. The facility is aging. Um, cost is rising. Um, we have critical projects coming up with um, HART, TOD. Uh, we need to get... Um, an expert opinion on um, gathering the facts and giving us an idea of what we need to do to address this issue. Those facts have been gathered. The recommendation, build a new stadium at a cost somewhere between $132 million to $192 million. It would sit in the lower parking lot and be roughly 30% smaller than the current facility. While many agree something has to be done, not everyone agrees on what that something should be. I played in a Rose Bowl in 1952, and the stadium was in good condition, and I don't see why this stadium cannot uh, last uh, longer than it is now. The stadium could last, but is it worth it? A new one would save the state up to $3.2 million a year in operating costs. These visitors from Philly have already seen their old stadiums torn down, then rebuilt, and they say they've never looked back. They uh, tore down the vet, which has been around since I was a kid, and it was a, it was a neat stadium. It's been around forever, but it was old, it was outdated, and the new stadiums that they built are just amazing stadiums. Tonight's meeting at the stadium was put on because just last month the stadium's board of directors voted to accept the study that recommended a smaller stadium be built. The state's still in the early stages of decision making. Stadium management says tonight was the last chance to hear from the public. Now they're moving on to analyze all of the data they collected. Live in the studio, I'm Brenton Awa for KITV4 News.